Now that we've got it all primed, got every, all the imperfections sanded out, now we're going to paint. And I use people, you know, you, there's options here. You could spray, you could brush, you could roll. There's all sorts of different stuff. You could use spray paint, you could use a gun, fancy high dollar gun. It's really up to you on whatever you want to do here in this situation. Personally, I find, I found through trial and error that the best finish and the thickest finish, which I think that's, that's pretty imperative, in, in just in my opinion, the thicker the finish, the better in my opinion. The thickest finish, the most robust finish is going to be either a brush or a roller. You know, people, people may laugh at that and say, really? They don't paint cars with a brush and a roller. Well, I'm not painting cars, I'm painting this trailer. And it's a roller and a brush is good enough for my living room, and it's good enough for my deck, and it's good enough for landscaping timbers, and it's good enough for a fence, but it's not good enough for this. It's gonna be good enough, and I've had great success, and I actually really like the finish that a roller and a brush leave. All right, with the oil-based paint, I use, this one's gonna be a flat black. I use, uh, I use an oil base. This is uh, Rust-Oleum Professional High Performance Protective Enamel. So it's oil-based and it's made to protect metal surfaces, okay? And you, you can actually use it without primer, but I usually, I use primer. Um, but it, you can actually even use it without primer if you want to, but the oil-based, is thicker and it also does away with your errors on your strokes and it doesn't run as good and it just it provides a better harder finish in my opinion all right people may disagree with that that's fine I don't mind you disagreeing with me I really don't care um, if if there's a better way to do it then that's great but I, I find a brush and a roller do good here's a roller with a normal medium pile roller on it um, my roller pan that I use just like you paint your house with I use these liners because it's a whole lot easier when you're done to, uh, to throw away this liner than to uh, and get a new one and then also on my cans I put these on there they're relatively cheap and they make pouring a lot easier. And also, another thing that's easier is when you're done, instead of having to get your hammer and pound that can shut every time you refill your tray, you just snap this little deal on there and then you just pop it open, pour some more. It's got a little vent here to make pouring easier and then close it back up and you're done. And when you're done, this actually folds down in there It'll keep your paint good for the next day or next week or however long. This basically replaces your lid. All right, and then when it comes to brush, let me get my brush set up. So when it comes to brushes, I use this handheld uh, bucket. You can put your hand right in there. It's also got a magnet here to hold your brush in. See that? Hold your brush in when you set it there so it's not dunked down in your paint. And then I use these liners as well. These liners are a lot easier to just chunk when you're done uh, for the day than throwing away this this whole pail. All right, these pails they're not they're not pricey or anything. They're just uh, it's just a lot easier to use these liners that are a couple bucks for several of them. All right, and just use a decent brush. You don't have to get the most expensive. You don't have to get the cheapest. You are putting oil-based paint on a trailer. It's hard on brushes. It just, it's just the way it is. It's not latex, this is oil based. So that's my, that's my paint set up. So let's get to painting. 